All right, so I'm behind the camera, but I'm going to do a uh, man cave video for uh, Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards Contest. Uh, great contest. He wants you to show off your uh, man cave, your sports room, whatever it might be. And um, then show the card in your collection that uh, you would hate to lose. Um, you know, so... <clears throat> um, I've kind of got like an open space, so I lose a lot of wall space. But uh, I've got some autographed baseballs and a couple of uh, you know, Yankee Stadium and, and Wrigley Field pictures there. Um, just uh, extra bobbleheads right there, kind of come around. This area is just a mess. Um, just kind of random stuff piled. Um, some of it's my kids. Um, still trying to find out, you know, where where their stuff is gonna go. Um, above the door, we've got Wilson 16. It's a Diamondbacks uh, locker um, nameplate. Um, so they had a a player with the last name Wilson. So that's my last name. So I picked that up. Um, got a huge Subway poster. Uh, Prison Break, uh, one of my favorite uh, shows there. Um, here's my desk. So, you know, we've got scanner, printer, um, the actual computer. Um, got some large figures there. I've got Darth Vader, Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. Um, Again, just some random stuff on the side there. Um, that right there is a giant metal, uh, I believe it's 2006 Tops. Um, Brandon Webb card, sorry. And um, I picked that up at the Diamondbacks yard sale. Um, again, I've got windows here, so I lose a lot of wall space above the windows. Um, these are McFarlane Lost Figures, another one of my favorite shows. Um, got that above that one. And then more Lost Figures on that one. Um, over here, this is actually a gun cabinet that my grandfather made. Um, and uh, it's been passed down to me. So I use it for bats and other memorabilia. So I'm not gonna go through everything that's in there, but um, that's a Larry Fitzgerald uh, autographed football. I've got some game used bats in there. Um, Wally Joyner over here, Ray Lankford. Um, Anyways, I'm trying to just kind of see. Um, that is a ticket from the very first Diamondbacks game. It's the season ticket. Um, so it's kind of like one of those motion, you know, where if you move it, the roof closes and opens. Um, it's Dan Wilson behind there. So we got an auto, a rookie, and a, a jersey. Um, again, my name's Dan Wilson. Um, uh, the glare is horrible. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. That's any better? Probably not. I can't pan out. Um, again, just some random stuff. Um, Pete Rose autograph there. Um, that's a Mickey Mantle autograph behind there. Um, up top. Again, just a lot of randomness. Um, the glove is signed by Nolan Ryan. Um, I just showed that mini helmet in my uh, last video. Got a program from the 1969 World Series. So the Mets. Um, Sports Illustrated signed by Bryce Harper. A few random bobbleheads and, and things like that. The World Champs uh, newspaper insert. 
I had that signed by a few players. Um, again, just kind of random stuff. This here is a uh, ticket from um, the Scottsdale Scorpions. Uh, Arizona Fall League. So that's actually from uh, Michael Jordan's first game as a professional baseball player. He was part of the Fall League that year. Um, and then I've got my uh, bobblehead shelf. So three rows, um, every game issued Diamondbacks bobblehead starting in 2001. Um, behind it, it's a uh, game one of the 2001 World Series ticket stub. Um, obviously this one's like a replica, a giant replica that I've had signed by a few guys like uh, Luis Gonzalez, um, Steve Finley, Matt Williams, I think, um, yeah. Then I've got a little desk that used to be my wife's grandmother's. Um, sometimes it's it's packed full of cards. Uh, right now, not so much. Just kind of a few random things in there. But um, I'm a big 24 fan as well. So a couple of McFarlands there. Um, a couple of autographed bats. Matt Davidson used to be on the Diamondbacks. I won that from him on Twitter. And then Luis Gonzalez and then Mark Teixeira got that at uh, spring training when he was with the Rangers. And then um, over here, that's a game used Ryan Roberts bat. Uh, the guitar is uh, signed by Brian Bell of Weezer. Uh, Big Weezer fan, um, but that's that's kind of the room. Um, that's kind of the other stuff, the Griffey stuff that really just doesn't have a spot. It's all in the closet. I guess I'll show the closet. Um, a lot of randomness, uh, but this is where most of the actual cards are. Um, again, just. A lot of random stuff. Um, this is a locker plate for Ryan Roberts from the Rays. That's a game used jersey that I had him sign this last spring training. Um, again, just random stuff. So, um, and uh, I realized I don't have my card out, um, but it's. Uh, And I think it's in this box right here. So that kind of sucks. Um, Mardi Gras beads. Um, let's see. All right. I'm going to try and do this uh, without breaking my phone and without taking up too much of your time. Focus on this, huh? It is. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so it's this card right here. Uh, recent pickup, just this last year. But it's the uh, Hank Aaron rookie card. Um, obviously, condition not not great, but um, you know, really just a card I never thought I would ever own. So when given the opportunity, um, I had to do it. So that is the card right there. Again, great contest. Appreciate it. Mike of Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. Thanks. Bye.